Scientists say they're excited by the results of a trial of a blood test which can detect different types of cancers. A study led by Oxford University found it was able to correctly detect 50 types of the disease and identify two-thirds of cancers among 5,000 people who went to their GP with suspected symptoms. Well, let's go live now to Dr. David Crosby, who's Head of Prevention and Early Detection Research at Cancer Research UK. David, thank you for joining us. Uh, scientists say they're excited by this, and certainly everyone else must be too, because this sounds like a really promising breakthrough. It, no, I think I think it is. It's got the potential to do some real good. Um, the, the, the big challenge is if you're trying to diagnose very um, early cancers, any symptoms that present are quite um, non-specific. You know, people feel tired, um, they may feel nauseous and abdominal pain, which could be representative of any number of diseases. So a test like this has the potential to allow um, or to inform GPs decision making as to who to refer um, for further testing quicker. In layman's terms, what could this mean for anyone who uh, has cancer or who uh, potentially has types of cancer? What does it mean for those of us who don't have in-depth knowledge of the subject? How significant is this in real terms? Well, early detection saves lives, without a doubt. You know, if we if we find cancers at the very early stages before they've started to spread, then we can intervene quite successfully and a very high percentage of people will survive. Whereas if we don't find a cancer until it's metastasized, spread around the body, um, then the chances of survival are very poor. So a test like this could help to um, shift the stage at which we find cancers. Um, that this, the, the results that have been published now give us very promising indications. We, we don't yet know whether or not this test will save lives and more research is needed. And what sort of things need to be explored in that further research that might help to draw out those answers? Mm -hmm. So, so what this um, this study has shown is that um, if you if you use the test um, through you know primary care when people are coming to GPs with those early symptoms, um, if the test says that there's uh, potentially a cancer there, then it's right about three quarters of the time. So that's it's really helpful in um, informing decisions about further diagnostics, you know, putting people into scans and whatnot. Um, the more research that's needed is we don't yet know whether or not that makes an impact on the success of treatment or for how long people will survive or whether people survive so we need a kind of longer larger study to find those um, you know real Im impact endpoints well david thank you to, for speaking to us and it's always nice to hear some positive encouraging news from the medical world isn't it That's absolutely dr david crosby there